She passed away um, in May um, this year. Um, basically, Swackman Diamond syndrome can later develop into leukemia, which unfortunately for my sister, she ended up having it twice. Once when she was 13, 14 years old, and then it came back with a vengeance um, back in 2013. Um, she was, she lost a lot of weight very, very quickly. Um, it hit her very, very quickly. It was very aggressive. Um, obviously, I had to watch her deteriorate in front of my eyes. It was the most heartbreaking thing I think I've ever had to go through to watch someone that you love so much just disappear. Um, and then gone for good. It's it's really difficult and very very heartbreaking. I since the passing, uh, her passing, I decided to do something out of the out of the norm um, with her ashes. Um, for me, my comfort was knowing that she'd be with me wherever I went. Um, some people believe that's in spirit, but for me, I felt that I needed a bit more than that. Um, so I had some of her ashes put into a ring and now I carry that with me wherever I go. Um, once I had the ring I still had ashes left over. So I asked my parents if there was anywhere special they would like me to scatter the ashes and they had no preference. So I didn't want to have her ashes just sat in my house so I thought about having a tattoo with her ashes put into, my, put into the ink and then tattooed into my body. Um, and that's the result of the angel that I've now got on my back, which is a representation of her. The tattoo will be a picture of an angel leaving earth and going up into heaven. She'll have shackles on her wrists, which represent the Swackman Diamond Syndrome of my sister's life. At the bottom is going to be a sea of demons um, and a hand reaching out to try and grip her foot, and that's going to represent the cancer, but it doesn't quite grip it, she's free, she's finally away from it all um, and it just, it'll all be in black and white and it's all going to be just to her, <laughs> as a representation to her for her leaving and finally being free.